No way! I'm not going back there! They don't appreciate me! Does he get like this often? Yes. Eventually he'll come around. But sometimes it takes days. I don't think we can wait that long. I don't care. I'm not working for those oafs anymore. They don't appreciate the effort I make. Ha! All I want is a little recognition. This could be a problem. Don't worry. I'll think of something. I dare say, but what do you expect me to do about it? This is a railway, isn't it? Railways deliver goods, railways deliver flour. And bullseyes and curtain rings and acid drops. Yes, yes, I appreciate that, but I'm afraid the railway isn't running just at the moment, on account of the snow. It is just a case of having to manage without one or two things. Flour dye station, flour, without which we cannot bake bread, and without bread we shall starve. Oh, oh, I hadn't thought of that before. Well, now you have, haven't you? There's two tons of flour waiting at Grumbly Station for Ivor to collect. And two dozen tin openers, and a box of long underwear, and a ream and a half of blotting paper, and six cartons of crisps, and all dozens of boxes of paper hankies. I'm right out of paper hankies, and you know how people need them this weather. So his friend had the mail, but she did not give it to him. And then he came to visit me. Said a lawyer would call and help. He said the wheels were in motion. But there was no motion. There was nothing. And so they sent me back here. This is a terrible story, Abby. What are you going to do? I'm going to save up every rupee. For someday, I will get back to America. And when I do, I will exact vengeance on this man. I cannot forget him. He haunts me. He is a very bad man. He is a very, very bad man. Every Easter, the Easter Beagle comes dancing along with his basket full of eggs, which he hands out to all the good little children. That sounds faintly familiar. I remember sitting out in a stupid pumpkin patch all night waiting for the great pumpkin to come. That was the worst night of my life. This is different. That was Halloween. This is Easter. Well, I don't know. I really want to believe you because I like you and I really respect you. But I just don't know. The Easter Beagle will never let you down. I know he won't, but how about you? Patrick, nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. At last you are here. 
Which of you is the doctor? Why, is someone ill, Your Majesty? Not yet, but there will be. There always is on Black Tuesday. Black Tuesday, sire? Yes. Once a year, merry old England breaks out in a rash of plagues and floods. It always happens on a Tuesday. <laughs> and you couldn't very well call it White Tuesday, could you? Have there been any disasters yet? Oh, yes, all sorts. Such as? Well, take us, for instance, my singing sword. Looks all right to me. Well, it may look as all right, but today it singeth flat. Mr. Nessie, I have endured your filth long enough. This welcome mat is a disgrace. It might as well say, go away. And these garbage cans. Other people manage to keep their trash inside the barrels, but not you. And if that wasn't bad enough, now you have gone mad with all this purple paint. Donna. Donna, I need to talk to you about who's giving Sophie away. That would be me. But what about her dad? Her dad isn't here. It's what she wants. She told me she wants her father here. What if her father wants that too? What? Sam, don't do this now. I can't <laughs> hear this now. Donna, listen to me. This is about us. Has the video started? No, it's just the FBI warning. And after this, what? CIA warning? FDA? NRA? The NRA puts up a warning, I pay attention. But only the FBI gets one. It's almost gone. Uh-oh, it's about to begin. We better get out of here. I didn't get a chance to read the warning. It said, don't talk with your mouth full, or something. Oh. So I've been a voiceover coach for 24 years. Uh, it's a passion of mine. I don't let it overtake my whole life. I'm a part-time coach, but a few times a year I teach a class. Uh, and a lot of your viewers may know people like Yuri Lowenthal and his wife Tara Platt. They were some of my early students. Very proud of the success that they've enjoyed. Um, I do try to make an even balance between teaching the craft of voiceovers, but also the business of it. A very wise person said to me when I moved here, there are two words in show business, and art isn't one of them. Hey! Oh, I keep telling you, dude, I ain't no snatcher or whatever. Now, would you please get me a doctor? Why don't you just put some of your drugs on it? Hey, I wasn't doing anything wrong, man. The friendly boys from Narcotics will be here any time now. Save your breath for them. Come on, dude, I ain't done nothing. I'm just in the air surfing. I just wanted to win the competition, man. I needed some money for that, okay? Hey, it's just drugs, man. Well, Ivan Rodriguez sure wasn't our man. Too bad for him that he happened to look like the snatcher we're after. That leaves Freddie Nielsen. Hey, Sebastian, give me some cloth. Come on, what's the matter? You look a little shell-shocked. Shell-shocked? Hmm? How can you be taking it so easy? Oh, come on, Sebastian. Don't be such a crab. Aren't you taking this a bit too seriously? Definitely not. Hmm. Let me give you some advice. Relax. You're too hyper. Me? Sebastian, you worry too much. The important thing is that we do our best. It's like you always tell me. Every little thing is going to be all right, Sam. Right? Unidentified person. Well, what exactly is an unidentified person? Doesn't everyone have an identity? Maybe they mean he's a person they can't identify. But that would make him an unidentifiable person. I guess if nothing else, he could always be referred to as that guy we can't identify. When they say someone is not going to win any popularity contests, what popularity contest are they talking about? I've never heard of these contests. Where do they have them? And who wins? Whoever is winning these popularity contests can't be all that popular. You never hear about them. Hello there, Mr. Messi here. Mr. Bump and I are getting ready for a huge birthday that's happening today. Come out and say hello, Mr. Bump. Uh, hello? 
So what we're doing today is we're making a birthday cake for our friend Mr. Nussie, who came from the land down under. Don't start singing the song, please. And unlike the last time we missed Mr. Grumpy's birthday, I hired Mr. Bun to help with the cake baking as I know he's very careful. Oh, you know, I'm also known as the careful one around these parts. We hope that Mr. Nutty will have the best birthday and everyone will give best wishes. Uh, what's the whistling? I'm not sure. Uh, how much baking soda did you add onto the cake? Uh, four pounds? What? I thought I told you four cups! Miss Helpful Book wasn't good at telling me between cups and pounds! She's gonna blow! <laughs> I'd be waiting in a pumpkin patch on Halloween night. I'd have said they were crazy. Just think, Sally. When the great pumpkin rises out of the pumpkin patch, we'll be here to see him. What's that? What's that? I hear the great pumpkin. So out of all of your characters, is there one that people most recognize you from? I think Bateau in Ghost in the Shell is a, is a very well-known character mm -hmm. and recognizable and, uh, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, I have I have like five or six shows on Toonami right now. Uh, JoJo's uh, Bizarre Adventure, I play Joseph Joestar on it. It's a hugely popular character. Mm -hmm. um, the other one is Lupin the Third. I'm Jigen in that, and I also directed that series along with my wife, Ellen Stern. And uh, what's the other one? And Ghost in the Shell, of course, Bato and that, and uh, uh, Outlaw Star and uh, uh, Hunter x Hunter and a bunch of other ones that are running on there right now. Hey, kid, you ready to go after the Piston Cup? Yeah, showtime. Well, you said it. Just as soon as you get some practice. Well, you've been taking it kind of easy around town for a while now, so... We gotta get you back into shape before the new season starts. Besides, they just don't let anybody with four wheels race for the Piston Cup, you know. First, you've got to place in enough races, games and competitions to qualify. Then you can go back to the big leagues, all right? So what do you say? You ready to get moving? Ka-chow! I'll take that as an okie-dokie. <laughs>